Hello all. So I came up uh, with another video uh, of Android penetration testing series and in today video we will be learning about installation of JDX GUI in Windows and we will see how you can import the APK file in JDX GUI in order to check or analyze the source code from the app or APK uh, build. So let's get started. Okay, so our first tool will be JDX UI, which I have mentioned in the introduction already. So you can just go to the repository of JDX UI. I will share the link in the description. So uh, when you when you open that uh, repository, just click on the release section and go down. And if you are using the Windows as this video is specifically for the Windows users only, so you just click or uh, click in uh, to the to the executable file and it will download in your local machine as i have already installed or already downloaded this executable file so i'll just uh, quickly move to the file and let me show you how you can import the apk file in that particular uh, tool which is jdx ui okay so here as you can see it is asking for your apk path where you have loaded your application or the apk file so i'll just quickly go to the desktop and here if you can see uh, there is a file called injured android which is again a ctf based application where you can perform each and every type of uh, attack or each and every type of methodology or the process that may be required or that is required at the time of penetration testing of any of the android apk so just click on it and it will take a little bit time to decompile the apk so as you can see uh, this this complete folder uh, or the file structure will be decompiled from the epk which is injured android 1.0.1.2 uh, release.epk and if you can see there are two main sections that are source code and the resources and the source code you will be providing the package name of the apk where all the files will be available okay so this is how you can install uh, jdx ui in windows and uh, start doing uh, your static analysis part so we will cover in later videos like how you can start with the static analysis of android application okay so this is all for today and uh, see you on the next chapter of this series bye bye